Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean, about the wrestler on the poster who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan. As a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent. Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're rustling Cole, so it'll be kind of hard <laughs> not to. Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Hey man, good to see you. That, that, slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You 
can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. If I can have your attention for a second, whoever has a red pickup truck with the license plate OCS 732, you're blocking the school nurse's car and she'd like to go home now. <laughs> to quote my old boss, Vince McMahon, what a maneuver. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained him.
Mr. CQ is showing why he has attracted interest from promotions all around the world, including WWE. Enjoy him while you can, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, you're stuck with me, Baron Blade. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come! I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waist measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see This is some I kind of it. joke. Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. 
Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair, combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was... In what type of match do you want to get these hands? Uh, tables match could be cool. The owner of our promotion could never afford tables, so we never really got to use them. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. 
That way you can't run from me. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice.